K Day. Obviously, um, with that man, um, you know, meant to society and what he means today, his legacy lives on. Um, you know, I thought it was great seeing his family at the football game um, earlier today. That was dope seeing him during the coin toss. That was pretty cool. And, um, you know, we always just try to be better as human beings. I mean, I think that's what he's always was, you know, preaching about. How can we be better no matter the color, no matter the race, no matter the shape, size, whoever you are, just, you know, how can we all be better, you know? And, um, you know, I think he's, um, he's a figure in not only here in America, but all over the world. I think um, his legacy uh, lives on long be be beyond him, obviously. You know, and, um, as it continues to live on. So, you know, to have a day like this and to be able to play, um, you know, the sport that I love, remember him at the same time, uh, acknowledge him at the same time, I think it's pretty, 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 pretty cool. Appreciate those words uh, as we focus on tonight's game. OKC, good young team, been on fire. I know with you guys, it starts with defense. How were you able to defend so successfully tonight? Showing some different looks, also went into his own, but it got you guys out in transition. Yeah, they're they're very um, dynamic, very challenging. They they work your defense. They make you try to, you know, um, you know between. Jay Will, um, you know, obviously Shea head of the snake, um, Chet, you know, those guys just, you know, they always got you moving. They always got you, you know, trying to close out. They do a great job of getting into your paint, um, you know, and also they can shoot the ball really well too. But, you know, just try to change pitches. We didn't want to show them the same pitch tonight, you know, um, and, and I think that that allowed us to kind of, you know, keep them a little bit off balance offensively, but they were still, you know, very, very good team. Last one for me, uh, offensively, when you guys play like this, you're really tough to beat. Six guys in double figures, getting the impact guys from the bench, but also just the, the ball movement and the rhythm and flow. Yeah, for sure. I think, um, you, know, our, you know, our ball movement, our pace is very key. You know, we try not to play, play it into the clock, you know, give ourselves an opportunity to get really good looks. I think, um, you know, when we don't turn the ball over, um, I know we had some late ones. We had some ones that was unforced, but, you know, when we have high assist games where guys are feeling the rhythm, we're, you know, that's a pretty good game for us. You know? So we got to try to look at that and try to be more consistent with that. You guys started the season with this lineup, starting lineup, 41 games later after a bunch of twists and turns and maybe a pregame head fake. Uh, we're, we're back here. Uh, what do you think uh, needs to be done? And Darvin said this could be the starting lineup for the foreseeable future. What do you guys, as a five-man unit, need to do to maximize that group? Um, you know, obviously, offensively, we want to we share the ball, um, You know, not turn the ball over. Um, AD is always our focus offensively, getting him going early and often. Uh, <clears throat> and then defensively, we have to be on the string and help one another. So um, we have to help AD rebound. And uh, you know, when we do that, you know, um, we could be a pretty good five-man uh, five lineup. You guys have had nights where you guys have defended. Um, happened against the Clippers. You guys have had nights where you shared the ball against the Raptors. To do it both on one night, does this feel a little bit like proof of concept? And I guess moving forward, what do you think the, the most important things are to like to have this not just be a moment, but to be something that you guys kind of are? Um, I mean, it's an ingredient for us to um, in order for us to win. And if we if we look at the film and see ways we we were really good offensively and defensively, uh, we could try to apply that to the next game. So um, you know, it's all about that. that. Oh, listen to you. <laughs> uh, LeBron, What's up, Tay? Well, hey, how are you? I noticed you uh, high-fiving the competition. E-A-G-L-E-S, Eagles. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Taylor. I'm sorry. The fight song had me going. I'm, I'm... <laughs> Go ahead. I'm sorry. Oh, you're good. Uh, I noticed you high-fiving the Compton Kids Club, the anthem. Oh, yeah, yeah, for yeah. sure. What did you think of their performance tonight? Uh, performance was amazing. Um, you know, they set the they set the mood. They set this, you know, from from the beginning, from the jump. Um, I saw my daughter and every single one of those uh, black girls walking, um, singing, and being proud of what they was doing. So, you know, gave it, you know, gave acknowledge what acknowledge was due. You know, respect what respect is due. They were, they were amazing. I, I know I'm, I'm usually, you know, I'm, you know, in, in unisex, I mean, unisex with my team, I'm sitting across the, the free throw line, but they made me turn around and I watched them the whole time. They were, they were doing what they're doing. So um, they are amazing. It was pretty cool to have them tonight.